To be or not to be, that is the question. Whether it is nobler in the mind to suffer the slings and arrows of outrageous fortune, or to take arms against a sea of troubles and by opposing end them. To die, to sleep, no more. And by sleep to say we end the heartache and the thousand natural shocks that flesh is heir to. Tis a consummation devoutly to be wished. To die, to sleep, to sleep perchance to dream, aye, there's the rub. For in that sleep of death what dreams may come, we have shuffled off this mortal coil, must give us pause. There is the respect that makes calamity of so long life. For who would bear the whips and scorns of time, the oppressor's wrong, the proud man's contumely, the pangs of despised love, the law's delay, the incense of office, and the spurns that patient merit of the unworthy takes. When he himself might his quietest make with a bare balcony, who would fardels bear to grunt and sweat under a weary life, but that the dread of something after death? The undiscovered country from whose bourne no traveller returns, puzzles the will and makes us rather bear those ills we have, than fly to others that we know not of. Thus conscious does make cowards of us all, and thus the native hue of resolution is sickled over with the pale cast of thought. And enterprises of great pith and moment with disregard their current cernari and lose the name of action.